Today we are going to solve this linear equation using Gauss elimination method. So we have three equations here. Equation 1, 2 and 3. The first procedure we need to do is that we need to form three matrices. So the first matrix will be the matrix of coefficient and the second matrix will be the matrix of variable and the third matrix will be the matrix of constant. So we need to form three matrix. So the first matrix is matrix of coefficient. In the first equation we can see the coefficient of x is 1. The coefficient of y is 4. The coefficient of z is minus 1. In the second equation the coefficient of x is 1. The coefficient of y is 1. The coefficient of z is minus 6. And the third equation, the coefficient of x is 3, the coefficient of y is minus 1, the coefficient of z is minus 1. So we got the matrix of coefficient. Now we need to find the matrix of variable. So we, in the equation we have three variables, x, y and z. These are the three variables. So we write x, y and z. We got the variable. Now we need to write the matrix of constant. So these are the matrix of constant after the equal to sign. So the matrix of constant will be minus 5, minus 12 and 4. So we form three matrices. First one the matrix of coefficient, second one the matrix of variable and third one the matrix of constant. Now we need to write the augmented matrix. The next step is to write the augmented matrix. Augmented matrix means joining the matrix A and B. So augmented matrix AB will be first of all write the matrix A that is A it is 1 4 minus 1 1 1 minus 6 3 minus 1 minus 1 this is our matrix A. Now write the matrix B. So this is called as augmented matrix AB. Now in Gauss elimination method, we need to make this augmented matrix into an upper triangular matrix. An example of upper triangular matrix is 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 minus 3. Here we can see these elements are 0. Only the upper portion will have non-zero values. We need to make these three elements as zero that is upper triangular matrix. So in this augmented matrix we need to make this one as zero, this three as zero and this minus one as zero. We need to make these three elements as zero. Okay. So to make this element as zero what we need to do this is value one. We need to do the row operation that is R2 minus R1. So we will do the first row operation. That is R2 turns to R2 minus R1. So our row will become, first row will be, first row will be same itself, 1, 4, minus 1 and minus 5. The second row will be 1 minus 1, it will be 0, 1 minus 4, it will be minus 3, minus 6 minus 1, that will become plus 1. So minus 6 plus 1, it will be minus 5, then minus 12 plus 5, it will be minus 7. Now we made this element as 0. Now the next process next process is to make this 3 as 0. So how can we make this 3 as 0? This is row 3 r3 minus 3 r1. So row 3 will become r3 minus 3 r1. So 3 minus 3 it will be 0. First of all we can write what will be 3 R1. We need to have we need 3 R1. So 3 R1 means 3 into 1 it will be 3. 4 into 3 it will be 12. Minus 1 into 3 it will be minus 3. Minus 5 into 3 it will be minus 15. So R3 minus 3 R1. So 3 minus 3 it will be 0. Minus 1 minus 12 it will be minus 13. Minus 1 minus minus 3 it will be plus 2 
and 4 minus minus 15 it will be plus 90 so this will be our matrix now the next thing we need to do is that we need to make this minus 1 as 0 so we, what we need to do minus 1 we need to make us 0 so we need to do the row operation this is the third row so r3 what we will do r3 minus this is 13 so we need to do this two row operation so r3 minus 13 into r2 by 3 so i will tell you how it come do this operation r3 what is the value of r3 it will be minus 13 then minus 13 into r2 what will be our r2 it is minus 3 now to cancel this 3 we are putting a 3 in the denominator so minus and minus it will become plus so minus 13 then this 3 will be cancelled minus and minus it will become plus so minus 13 plus 13 it will be 0 like that we will get this element 0 now doing this row operation we will get this matrix as the first row will be like that itself 1 4 minus 1 and minus 5 the second row is 0 minus 3 minus 5 minus 7 then third row 0 r3 minus 13 so 0 minus 0 it will be 0 then minus 13 plus 13 we will get by doing this operation then this element will become 0 so our machine is successful we made these three elements as 0 then doing the next operation r3 what is r3 2 2 then minus 13 by 3 into what is r2 minus 5 so 5 into 13 then minus into minus it will become plus so 2 plus 5 into 3 5 15 1 5 6 65 by 3 5 1 6 65 by 3 so 3 into 2 6 6 plus 65 it will get 71 by 3 so this will be 71 by 3 and the next element will be 148 by 3 so we get the augmented matrix after making these three elements 0 we will get this matrix so after making these three elements as 0 we got the matrix like this now in the third equation we can see that 0 0 the 0 is the coefficient of x this is the combination of matrix a and matrix b a is the matrix of coefficient and b is the matrix of constant so in the third equation we can see there is only one coefficient that is the coefficient of z so we will get 71 by 3 into z and this is the coefficient of this is the matrix of constant so 71 by 3 into z we will get 148 by 3 from this equation we will get the value of z equal to 148 by 71 now in the next second equation we can see the value x is 0 and y is minus 3 so minus 3y then minus 5z equal to minus 7. Substituting the value of z here we can find the value of y so we will get the value of y as minus 81 by 71. Then the third final equation we will get x plus 4y minus z equal to minus 5. Substituting the value of z here, substituting the value of y here, we will get the value of x as 117 by 71. Thus we get the value of x, y and z and we solve the equation by Gauss elimination method.